One of the really cool things I found when I was researching um, what's right with the world, there was this company, and I don't remember what country it's in, they are taking recycled plastic and building homes. So many people, I'm not, I'll be honest with you, I, I'm not a big recycled person, but this is interesting. We recycle plastic and turn it into bricks for homes, right? So people are getting sustainable homes for the first time in their life. They've lived, never had a home. Maybe, maybe for a month at a time they had a permanent residence. Now they're getting homes made out of plastic, helping the environment and helping people. It's really cool. The other thing that I saw, and it's, again, it's about plastic, um, ocean cleanup. There's quite a few companies out there that are doing this really cool ocean cleanup. And you know, on some level it's like, well, why do I really care about ocean cleanup? No big deal. Well, it may not make a big deal to you if you don't live near the water or if you don't really, if you're not interested in that. But I will tell you this, it means the world to the sea turtle who doesn't have to wear a six pack plastic collar around their neck until they die. It means everything. Um, some other things that I saw about what's right with the world. Let me see. Oh, my favorite. My favorite. There's this teacher in Wichita who high fives special handshakes with her students every morning. They're high five, they're high five, they're low, they're doing a little dance, dancing a little jig. Every student before they start the day and then she gives them a hug. And you know, I know some people are like, well, that's just kind of weird. How's that going to touch anybody? Well, it touches all 30 of her students every day. You don't know what their life is like. You don't know if they had a, a really terrible evening or if they had the best morning. Either way, it's perpetuating more of the same and creating that energetic flow that just shows us all what's right with the world.